nah, it's late. It's real late. I should be in bed. I should be getting my Z's. Getting my beauty sleep. I got a big game in the morning. And I'm still up all night. And I'm not up all night to get lucky. I'm up all night looking at these stats. Looking at these stats trying to figure out if this is the best season I've ever had in my career. Now, the season's not even close to being done yet. Well, it's kind of close. I guess we're past midway now. And as you can see, if we could pick up a win in our next match, we definitely can close the gap on Chelsea. If we pick up a win in our next match against Newcastle, I believe it is, we're five points away from Chelsea, and I believe we get to play them one more time. Now, real quick, while we're going through the stretch of the stats, I quickly want to say, if you want cheaper Lava Coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders. Now, let's take a look at the goals. You can see I have 32 goals already in the BPL. I have nine assists, which makes me the top assist guy, the top goal guy. And I'm pretty damn happy with that. If I can end the season with 15 assists and maybe 40-something goals, maybe even hit 50 goals, I doubt I'll get 50 goals, but I'm pretty confident I can get about 40 goals this season. What I need to do is come out and score a lot of goals against Spurs. So it's not Newcastle, I apologize. We're actually playing Spurs in this game, and then we got Newcastle next. So this should be... Uh, a pretty interesting game going up against Spurs they're tough they're a solid team they got bail they got a lot of good players now we have to pick up a W we got to play our hearts out pick up a W and make sure we keep this gap closed against Chelsea so earlier this week I decided that I was gonna do a video talking about Wayne Rooney I said I would talk about Wayne Rooney and his problems that he's having for Manchester United. I don't know if you would call them problems or not, but I decided, you know what, instead of dedicating a video just around Wayne Rooney, why not do the commentary over this My Player about Wayne Rooney? So a lot of people have asked me on Twitter if I think Wayne Rooney's gonna stay at Manchester United. Do I think he's gonna leave? What do I think is good for Wayne Rooney? Personally, I think for Wayne Rooney, it's better if he leaves. I think it's better if Wayne Rooney leaves Manchester United and moves on to a new side. A lot of people might say, really, Skills? You think that's the best move for him? I honestly do. The Manchester United manager came out and he said this, and I'm quoting what I've read on a website, and this is supposedly came out of the manager's mouth. He said, Wayne Rooney is a great player, or Wayne Rooney is good if RVP is hurt. Holy moly! If a manager said that about me, I would want to leave instantly as well. I'd put in my transfer papers. I'd tell the, the people that own the club, get me the hell out of this place before I knock this guy's teeth in. Now, I mean, first of all, I just feel like it's disrespectful for him to say that. If it is true that he said that, I find it very, very disrespectful that he said that about a world-class player like Wayne Rooney. Matter of fact, I don't think you should talk poorly about any player ever. If it's a professional football and you're a professional coach and it's on a professional team, you should come out and say, you know, Wayne Rooney is a good player, but RVP seems to be the better choice at the moment and he'll be the one in the starting 11. Well said. Now, you don't say Wayne Rooney's a good player, but only if RVP's hurt. What the hell is wrong with you? I backhand you for saying something like that. Now, I think it's very disrespectful and I feel bad for Wayne Rooney. I think Wayne Rooney and this manager are only going to bump heads at this point. After stuff getting in the media like that, after Wayne Rooney already saying he wanted to leave Manchester United, I think it's only right they let him go because it's going to be bad for Wayne Rooney. It's going to end bad for Manchester United. It's not a good situation, period. Now, if the media is lying about all this, if all this is a troll and Wayne Rooney's super happy at Manchester United, then I say stay, you know? They, I mean, why would he leave? He's at one of the better teams in the world, if not the best team in the world. People argue Manchester United is one of the best teams in the world, or maybe the best team. It depends who you are and how you look at it. I think they're in the top five best teams in the world, in my opinion. So, they're up there. Why would he want to move on to any other team? Now, with that, that's that's my opinion on Wayne Rooney. You guys might think 
I'm absolutely crazy, but that's my opinion on Wayne Rooney. Now, coming into this game against Newcastle, this is when we play Newcastle. First we had Spurs, now we have Newcastle. We beat Spurs, and we knew that this was a must-win game to make sure the gap stays closed against Chelsea, and we pull back our five points. The problem is, is Newcastle hits a booyah in the 35th minute, and uh, we're in a bit of trouble. They hit 35th minute, and now we have to find a way to come back into this game, make sure we get all three points in front of our home fans. Here, 38th minute, skills pass to David Villa. David Villa with a good pass, and look at the save by Cruel. And, and this game just, things weren't really falling our way. We went to halftime 1-0, and we're still attempting to get back into this game and make sure we walk out of here with a W, but it's very difficult, and I knew I had to put the team on my back in the second half, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. 62nd minute, and I'm down the wing. Skills with a nice fake shot. I get by one. I'm looking for something. Skills with a shot. Crew with a save, and how the hell do you miss from there? Are you kidding me? That one went wide, 75th minute, uh, skills with a cross into the middle, Rodrigo puts that one wide, and we were missing chance after chance, 89th minute, skills with a fake shot, skills with a smash, that's a penalty baby, as I was shooting, I got taken down, it's a penalty, the ref points to the spot, skills points to the left, and it's in the back of the net, that, that, that's a booyah, so 90th minute, I pulled Man City back, and we're right back in this. The problem was is a draw is not good enough. So in the 90th minute, I'm back on. I fake shot once. I knew I had to make this count. I'm on the 90th minute. I fake shot past one. I'm there. I'm gone. I'm there. I pass it up to Nazri. Nazri on it. Unlucky Sinclair. Boop, 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 booyah. 90th minute to save the season. To save our chances of being BPL champion. Sinclair with a 90 minute booyah. I scored in the 90th minute, Sinclair scored in the 90th minute, and ladies and gentlemen, I put Man City on my back and lead us to glory with another absolute wonderful performance from Skills, and I'm definitely going to get Man of the Match, and I get a 9.5. I hope you guys enjoyed that epic comeback. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thank you guys so much for watching. To the top right, some more FIFA. To the bottom right, some Minecraft. I'm out of here. Booyah. Y'all be safe.